Tifu when my puppy ate a sex toy. Was told this story would fit well here. Last night my so and I were having some fun. We didn't noticing that one of our toys a vibrating ring had fallen from the bed to the floor. Our puppy did notice it this morning. I noticed it peeking out of his mouth and immediately grabbed him but I was too late. I wrenched his mouth open to find nothing. The little stinker had swallowed it whole. After a very awkward phone call to the vet, where they needed me to say exactly what it was that he had eaten, they had me rush him in. While in the waiting room getting him checked and I was holding him. And to my horror I could feel his stomach vibrating. Very luckily they were able to make him puke it up and surgery was avoided. They asked me if I wanted the toy back. I declined. I can never face that vet again. Puppy tax, https colon slash slash imgur.com slash gallery slash says and oi. DLDR, puppy 8 vibrator. Embarrassing trip to vet. This has made me smile today. Assuming no harm or damage was caused to the pup. Thank you for the genuine laugh out loud today. So funny, but only because the puppy is okay and didn't need surgery. I appreciate the puppy tax. I think this wins the internet for me today. It would have exponentially worse if they had to remove it from the other end. My pit bull ate two used tampons out of the closed but unlocked trash can. There was definitive proof of one being puked up, but we were hella worried about the second one. Everything is fine and she likely puked the other one up without us knowing. We are all very careful about locking the trash can now. If it makes you feel better you have made a veterinary team's week as they now have the best funny slash disturbing slash disgusting vet story to tell. This story will be told on many many occasions. You've also pleased the families of said vets slash nurses as now they won't tell the story of the dog with the absolutely massive anal gland abscess at the dinner table. Again. Onk, the vet offering it back must have been mortifying. But really, I promise they have seen worse. Your puppy is so stinking cute. Safe examination made a good point about having fresh hydrogen peroxide around. Yes. It expires. It saved me money. And my dog's health more than a few times. I keep a 1 ounce barrel syringe around. Without the needle, there is a ratio of peroxide to dog's weight to induce vomiting that your vet could tell you or maybe. Google, you can load the syringe. Place it in the dog's mouth. Tilt its head back. And easy peasy you've administered a dose. The last time I used it was when I was pet sitting my daughter's two dogs. Along with my two dogs. And my son came over with his one dog. Somehow they had knocked over a full pill bottle of beet flavored medication. We did the math. Did one dog eat them all? Did they split it equitably? A call to the vet said to induce vomiting. We set up a triage unit. A waiting area. An operation area and a recovery area. It was pretty comical actually. Five dogs in different stages of puking. Thankfully we were able to count the majority of undissolved pills in their vomit and came close to a full bottle. All dogs lived, some to a ripe old age and a couple at my feet now. What's a vibrating ring? Afraid to Google till you can induce vomiting by dosing dogs hydrogen peroxide. They asked if you wanted it back, smiley face, that's fantastic. Smiley face. Hydrogen peroxide to make them throw up. Don't need a whole lot, takes 10 minutes or so. Can't tell you how many dog toys I've had to make my dog throw up. Glad the puppy is okay. Surgery cost me about 3500 when I paid for it the one time. I told her we won't be doing that again. You have your vet a wonderful story too. Laugh it off. Tell it to whoever will listen. It's a good one. Such a beautiful boy. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.